Isn't that beautiful? This is the AR Resonance Suprema, which um, you guys have seen on this channel, this, but uh, with a couple of tweaks. So uh, this is a special order for a customer, and he wanted it with the lever water keys, which looks kind of odd to me because I'm so used to seeing these with the mottos, but I'm not a huge Amato fan. I do have the one that comes on the AR is fine. But, uh, so I kind of dig the levers, uh, but he wanted this one in a lacquer finish so that it will always look like beautiful like this. And oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just kind of stop talking for a minute and let you kind of look at it. You can see the side seam on the bell. Got a phosphor bronze bell. Nick of silver receiver and lead pipe, standard valve, tops and bottoms in copper or phosphor bronze, I guess. A uh, little bit of yellow brass here and there, but God, just lovely. I, I, I yeah, it's just gorgeous. It just came in, and. I pulled it out of the case and was just immediately was like, whoa. <laughs> I really like the um, the normal, the, the raw finish because it develops a lovely patina over time and stuff like that. But this is really quite stunning. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, comes with the variable gap receiver. Uh, I get this question a lot and I just want to make sure that everybody's clear on it. Um, with the variable gaps here, uh, they, they're numbered one through five. That's each number represents a millimeter of gap between the end of your mouthpiece here and the beginning of the lead pipe. So that's the amount of gap that you have. And the bigger the number, the bigger the gap, the more millimeters of gap you have between the two end of those. You can see while I am happy to be using an AR resonance mouthpiece right now, uh, this is just a standard mouthpiece. You could use it in any, any trumpet in the world. Um, and with this variable gap receiver, just any any mouthpiece. Doesn't have to be an AR, AR resonance mouthpiece. You can use a Bach, Lotus, Monet, GR, anything you want. And uh, you can dial in the exact gap you want. Okay? Then, if at some point you decide, like, okay, I really like the number three gap or the number two gap. The number two and the number three tend to be the most popular. Uh, so let's say at some point you decide, like, okay, I, I love that. And... If you would then like to have the efficiency of having a mouthpiece that threads in to this, then you could order either an AR resonance mouthpiece or even Antonio could scan your mouthpiece and, and make it. And then he can make it with a threaded backboard. But when you get these threaded backboards and they just go in in lieu of the, uh, of the, the gap receiver here, you see I'm pulling out the gap receiver, I'm unscrewing the gap receiver. And screwing this in. And then the mouthpiece top goes on there. But this back bore, in addition to having like the, you know the trumpet back bore, it also has the gap built in. So before you could ever order these, you'd have to know what amount of gap you like before you can have it put on the mouthpiece. Okay? Or or before you have it put on the back bore. Does that make sense? I hope I hope it does, because I, I I feel like I still talk to people and they sometimes don't understand it. So um Anyway, hopefully that's clear. So yeah, let's. This horn just absolutely lovely. Using a, a C cup AR resonance mouthpiece with it. That's really lovely. Uh, for grins. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure Tony from AR will, will hate this, uh, but let's let's see what happens between uh, we got add the Lotus Turbo Wood. This is a Lotus mouthpiece made out of there a wood top. This is a an L cup, which is similar to their C cup. What 
happened there is I missed a note and then made it a minor. See? That's pretty cool. For some reason, I'm going between F and C, and I don't even know why I'm doing that. Okay, I'm not Trent Austin, people. You know, I don't. What, what do you want from me? Sarge approves. Don't you, buddy? Sarge approved. <laughs> All right. At this point, honestly, I'm just noodling around. Uh, I think this uh, the Turbo Woods sound cool. I've done. I've got a, a review on the Turbo Wood mouthpiece also on the channel, so you can check that out if you'd like to hear my thoughts on, on the Turbo Wood. But my thoughts on the Suprema are that I absolutely freaking love it. Gorgeous horn. Uh, for those that might be more familiar with Lotus, this is similar to like a Lotus uh, solo model. Um, I, I know that each kind of, and probably each company would hate that I would say that. I'm not saying they're the same. I just think there, there's some similarities to it. Um, uh, but uh, with the AR resonance, uh, one of the things that, that Tony does that you just can't get uh, on, on any other instrument is this variable gap receiver, which I do really like. Having that variable gap allows you to define the size of that gap which it helps you to, time, to define the size of the slot for each note and can help you to be more accurate. And like for me, I like a little, a little bit bigger gap so the slots are a little further apart so they're a little easier for me to find. <laughs> so, but I really dig with Tony's horns that you can dial that in, which is really, really nice. So uh, anyway, uh, super cool horn, AR Resonance Suprema, absolutely stunning. This, uh, this particular one's sold. I have other Supremas on the way, but if you want one in lacquer, I need to order them that way. But this is, just know that this is an option. Friends, thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like to get one for yourself, go to ErnieWilliamson.com and uh, I can help you out there. Thanks.